Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, RootGalaxyNote.com. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, back up your stock ROM, stock rooted ROM, and also other ROMs. How to back up a ROM and also how to restore ROMs. Um, so you'll have to have your phone rooted, your AT&T Galaxy Note rooted, and also um, Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Um, you can find all the instructions over at my site, rootgalaxynote.com, and look for the um, AT&T Galaxy Note FAQ, which I'll be putting up shortly. Uh, if it's not there, just check back. Um, and uh, once you've got everything installed there, oops, there we go. We're gonna put it. Uh, we're gonna reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, at any time, you can press volume up and volume down. I'm together and also the power button hold them all down and until your phone resets and also this is a great way to reset your phone you, you can just re you, if you hold down the power button it will reset your phone um, and you'll feel a vibration let go of the power button keep holding down the volume up and volume down until you'll see uh, clockwork mod recovery and uh, let me zoom in right here um, so you'll see a bunch of menus here. Um, go to backup and restore. That's where we're going to restore. Hit the power button and uh, hit backup. All right, and this will back up to your internal storage. It says SD card, but um, I don't actually have my SD card inserted. Uh, if you have your SD card inserted, you might get two options. I'm not sure, but the current Clockwork Mod Recovery, I just believe, supports uh, internal storage, which it doesn't matter wherever um, it stores to. It will actually back up to this directory. Um, if you go to your SD card or your internal storage, you'll find a co folder called Clockwork Mod. If you go there into that directory, you'll find a folder called Backup Directory. And if you go into the Backup Folder Directory, um, you have all your backup listed uh, by um, by the timestamp and also you can change the name of the directory those are all your backups you can you know after you backup you can copy it over to your computer other uh, media storage devices so it doesn't take up space in your internal storage um, or SD card I hope you got all that if you didn't get it don't forget to leave comments I try to do my best um, it might take me a while sometimes because on the weekends I take I'm gonna take my time off because I need to recharge and uh, Anyway, I was backing up. Uh, I would just leave it alone. Well, you can see the progress. It should take about five minutes. And uh, when it comes back, we're gonna actually restore um, our backed up ROM just to prove that prove you that this thing works. It backs up everything, including your app settings, um, the whole ROM. So you can use this method to install a bunch of ROMs and then. Uh, back it up using Clockwork Mod Recovery, and once you have a bunch of backups, you can rename the folders like A ROM, B ROM, C ROM, D ROM, E ROM, and then you can always, you know, uh, launch Clockwork Mod Recovery whether you're in plane or to train and switch ROMs on the go. Um, there's other apps you can do it too, but I think this is the, uh, you know, the sure way to do it, like no fail way to do it. Um, so I'll be back when this is done. Hi folks, so it's done and I'll show you it's been backed up um, if you don't get any errors. There we go. Um, we can go restore it now. Go to backup and restore, hit the power button again if you want to restore your ROM. Hit restore and power button. And then you see today's date is um, 2012, February 27th and also it's time stamped. You can also go and uh, rename it just like I told you. And uh, when you want to restore, just select that and say yes and we're gonna restore our ROM completely back to um, whatever I just backed up so I'll be back when this is done should take about five to ten minutes alright be back when this is done see y'all later hi folks so it's restored uh, complete you can see there um, erasing boot, restoring system, restoring data uh, we're gonna select reboot system now hit the power button and uh, let's boot it up together and verify that uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, Backup and Restore is working correctly. Uh, we should get a Samsung logo, then the Android um, custom, well, Android default logo, because uh, I've installed a rooted, well, my phone is rooted, so there you go. And uh, once it boots, once it's done booting up, um, we should be all good to go. And that's how you back up, restore ROMs in AT&T Galaxy um, 
Note. And uh, Galax it's exactly the same on the regular Galaxy Note. Uh, the only difference is getting into the clockwork mod recovery is uh, volume up um, center button and the power button instead of the volume up down and the power button. There you go. So I've got it all restored. You can see all my apps are still there. Um, so that's it. And don't forget to subscribe to my email list at rootgalaxynote.com where we update you once a week uh, with ROMs, reviews, and uh, tips. And uh, we don't share email with anyone else. And don't forget to hit that like button for me on this video um, if you see it. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me greatly. Um, anyway, thanks y'all. And uh, have a great day. Alright, see y'all later.